Hey, what's up guys, Auto Fanatics. So today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Works LeafJet 40 volt leaf blower. Not only am I gonna show you some demonstrations uh, blowing out my driveway, but also the grass, but most importantly for the people that watch the Auto Fanatic channel, is this gonna be a great alternative to dry off your car? Now, everybody knows the Ego blower seems to be the number one unit that everybody uses. The biggest complaint with Egos, of course, is the power on the batteries. They just don't last very long. Uh, as you're drying off the car, it'll probably consume one full battery charge, and also the units are very heavy. So this is the most comparable one as far as the specifications, uh, as far as the CFM. So we have a 620 CFM, the Ego is a 650, and in the kit, you're gonna get two 20 volt batteries. These are 4.0s, and they just clip onto the back. But this unit is really cool because it's very, very lightweight, and I just wanna show you a couple of cool things about it. So whereas most blowers, they have a detachable stem, okay, for, the length and then of course you saw my video where we do the stubby nozzle option we could pop, pop off the factory piece and throw on the stubby piece now on this particular one it doesn't have that it just has this little lever here and different increments so you could reduce the velocity based on what you're doing whether you're working around the house or on the car but i'll tell you one thing now this thing is so lightweight without the batteries, and even with the batteries, this is probably one of the lightest leaf blowers that I've ever used in my life. Now, it has a anodized aluminum stem here. I'm not sure if that was really required. To be honest with you, if I was gonna be tinkering with this, I probably would maybe figure out a way to reduce the length of this. I just don't think it's needed. Uh, over here, you don't have a trigger, but you have a rubber encased grip area, and the way you actuate it, you have a rotary dial here, and then you have your turbo button right here. So. I already used this thing already to dry a couple of cars. I've been using this for a couple of weeks playing with it. And actually a couple of people that watched the stubby blower video told me that they use it and I should pick one up. And then after I got a couple of emails, I said, let me just order it up. There also works, if you go on their website, works.com. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, not affiliate video as well. This um, unit, you could get 15% off now. So if you have existing works equipment for your lawn and garden around the house, you could buy the tool itself for about $130 and you will get the 15% reduced from that. If you wanna buy it with the two batteries and the charger, it's about $230 for everything, okay? So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna show you some clips as far as how this works. But before we go further, let me just retract this back. And I just want you to see if, you, if the camera could pick up the design of this thing. It's got a pretty weird turbo velocity step design as far as the motor. Not really sure, but it's a brushless design. They call it Sonic Turbine Technology. Not really sure what that is, but I'm gonna tell you now, this thing is so lightweight, it's so easy to maneuver. Uh, it's an absolute joy to dry uh, any car with it. And to be honest with you, a lot of people have complaints with the Ego, especially when you're doing the hoods and the roofs of an SUV. That's usually a challenge that you always have to two-hand it like this to kind of safely do it without banging into the car. Now. If you buy the Ego 650 uh, blower right now, you're gonna get the big heavy battery, which is this one here. This thing is a freaking monster. And even though it's bigger and it has a little bit greater capacity, if you're trying a large SUV, this battery is gonna get depleted about 75% just from doing one car. So the battery life is not that great. Now from using the works so far with the two batteries that comes in the kit, okay, so you could actually do a 20 volt. They have a 20 volt version, which I don't recommend, especially if you're doing stuff around the house and if you're gonna drive the car. Uh, with the two 4.0 batteries, I have dried two cars and I still had half battery life left, which is actually really good. You have a battery indicator right here. See that? Just like a uh, M18 Milwaukee system. And the batteries are super lightweight. And uh, if you go on the Works website, they do make a 5.0, a 6.0. They make larger batteries, except according to stock, a lot of them are out of stock. So the, the 4.0 just makes sense that they, they don't give you the cheapest battery, which is like the 2.0, they give you the 4.0, which is like the mid-grade. And I think for a blower unit, that's just really what you're gonna want. So all you do is you take your unit, and you pop in the batteries, one here, one here. You got your power indicator. So now we have the full 40 volts. We're fully charged up. So before we get started on the drying of the Stelvio, we're gonna rinse it down, we're gonna do a quick dry. I wanna show you some video clips now of blowing out my driveway and also blowing out the grass and around the house just to show you guys to see how, you know, how it works. And it does a very, very good job. And even when I was blowing some wet leaves on the grass, it did not deplete the battery enough to even have to go back and recharge it. So let me show you those clips right now. They're gonna come back, we're gonna dry the car and I'll give you my final thoughts as far as if I think this works nitro leaf jet 40 volt max uh, blower 
is a good alternative to the Ego if you guys want something to blow out your garage, your driveway, or you want it to uh, do a touchless dry when you're drying your cars from auto details. So stay tuned, we'll come back in a couple of moments. All right, guys, so we're just gonna rinse off the Alpha Male Stelvio. The reason we're doing this is I wanna try and demonstrate the unit drying an SUV, because that's usually what everybody with an Ego Blower has a difficulty time doing, is the hood and the roof and the taller panels, and a lot of times people could just bump into the paint and cause damage. If you guys don't have a blower band, go out and pick up a blower band as well. So we're just gonna get the car a little rinse. Another thing too, if you guys really want to get the most out of using a leaf blower to dry off your car, you really have to have proper protection. You can see right here, look at the way the water is flying off the paint just by gravity, okay? That's because it's protected. This car is protected with Autofanatic Hypergloss. We use a ceramic waterless wash and 007 Gloss Enhancer Ceramic. That's the only protection on this car and this car stays outside for over three years in all the winter elements. Rain, sleet, snow, and sun, it's no issues, so. So I'm just gonna wrap up, rinsing up the other side, and then we're gonna get the, uh, the works blower, and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to uh, dry the car, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts if I think this is a replacement for the Ego blowers that you can pick up at Lowe's or on Amazon. So stay tuned, we'll be back in a little bit. All right guys, we got the Stelvio fully rinsed off. So we're gonna start it with the nozzle pulled all the way in. Now I am hitting the turbo button. Let's not, let's just, no turbo button right now. So it's doing a really good job. It's really easy to handle. So I could one hand this right here. I'm using one hand without the turbo mode. You almost don't even need turbo mode.
well guys that's it uh that's the demonstration on using the works 40 volt leaf jet blower to drive a car it works outstanding this thing is so lightweight and so easy if you guys saw how i just did the hood in the roof i actually just grabbed it like this from the aluminum extruded uh bar right here it's so lightweight it did a great job it's also audibly significantly quieter than the ego so if you guys watch the demonstration we did it part with the turbo button hit and part without it. And to be honest with you, you don't really need the turbo button. This is just gonna accelerate the velocity a little bit further and also gonna drain your battery. So the, this the, the big test. Where is our battery life? Okay, look at that. We only have one bar missing and we just tried the full Alfa Romeo Stelvio. So I think this thing is awesome. I think, uh, it, like I said, if you don't really wanna go ego, if you're not really married to the brand, you don't have other ego power tools like a weed whacker or a lawnmower or anything like that, I really think this tool is outstanding. Also, this tool works is giving you a five-year warranty and a 30-day money-back trial. So you could pick, pretty much pick this up on Amazon or anywhere else. I'll put a link in the description where you could buy this, um, and you can also try it out. If you don't love it, you can send it right back. I recommend buying it with the kit because the batteries are on stock, out of stock everywhere, um, and you get the two 4.0 batteries. And I actually drive the car using it with the shorter stem. I didn't even bother with this. Uh, when I did the lawn demonstration parts of the video, I actually had the stem extended. So, like I said, I think it's a pretty cool tool, and I think what I like about it is the ergonomic. Its balance is excellent, and it's so lightweight, and it just does the job better. It's definitely less fatiguing to use. It's quieter. You don't need earplugs. You don't need to put your headphones on. It is an absolute breeze, and you could articulate it with absolute ease without stressing out your forearms and wrists as if you were using the Ego blowers. So if anybody out there has any equipment or tool suggestions or you want to see a product featured on the AutoFanatic channel, please send me an email. Uh, I thought this was interesting by the design and a lot of you guys who contacted me off the blower, the stubby blower video, uh, made me go out and buy this thing. I actually really like it. You're probably going to see it on the AutoFanatic channel in the future, uh, possibly to drive the car. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's easier to use, it's lighter, it's quieter. You don't need to put headphones in. Uh, also, when you put the stubbies on the Ego, it gets a lot, lot louder. It does get a little bit irritating. It's a real shrill sound. Now, don't get me wrong, the Ego blower definitely feels more powerful. It's probably gonna be the better blower if you're gonna blow snow off your car, or if you have a big piece of property, you're gonna blow a lot of leaves. I probably would say the Ego is probably gonna be what you're gonna wanna use, but if you wanna use something light duty, lightweight, uh, five-year warranty, 30-day money-back guarantee, definitely consider the Works 40-volt leaf jet. You can order it on Amazon. I'll put links in the description below, and you could also order it directly from Works, and they're doing a 15% discount right now. So it's really a money-back, risk-free guarantee. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this myself with my own money, and I demonstrated it for you guys on various different demonstrations that I showed you in the video on the AutoFanatic channel. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video soon.